time that crash, uh, that will be perhaps the, the most significant strategic decision you'll make as an investor, as a family, as a business leader. We're going to try and help our clients do exactly that. Every Monday morning at 7 a.m., the Center for Risk Analysis releases to its clients an exclusive client note, the weekly risk alert, both in written and audio form. The author of the report is Franz Cronier, who joins us today. Franz, in the weekly risk alert, you highlight and flag key risks in South Africa and the world. What were some of the hard calls that you had to make in 2020, and how did we fare in terms of our analysis? Yeah, hi, David. It's great to be back and, and to be drafting the notes again for 2021. Looking back at last year, some big calls were made. On South Africa, we said there would be no fundamental structural reform. Now, that was at odds with mainstream opinion. We got that one spot on and related to it, we said on governance and corruption questions, there would be no serious moves towards rooting out institutionalized corruption. And I think we got that one right as well. Going to the rest of the world, equally big calls were made. We, at the end, we called it for Mr. Uh, Biden. We said there would be a peaceful transition in the US, which I mean, but, but for this little blow up at the Capitol this week, there will be uh, going ahead. Uh, we made the call that China and the US, that trade dispute would not trigger substantive global economic damage. It would be left at the level of posturing. We got the call right that the Middle East would see a new sort of crystallizing balance of power. It's going to play out also through this year as the sort of Sunni Israel block on the one hand uh, gears up against Iran. New balance of power should bring some uh, stability and order to the Middle East. And we got the call on Brexit right. We said that the Brexit uh, deal would go through last year. It did go through last year, but our biggest global call, and one that we got right, we made that early in the year when a lot of economists and analysts were talking about dire economic predictions for 2020. We said the world's economy will come out of the COVID crisis. We said that in around March, much stronger than most analysts were anticipating. Uh, subsequent to that, stock markets around the world uh, climbed by more than 50%. And many commodity prices that had hit the floor in March uh, ended the year at higher levels than was the case in January 2020. So across the spectrum of things, for me and my colleagues who put this together, I think we had a pretty good year. David. All right, Franz, so that's 2020. How do you see 2021 playing out? What are the key driving forces and major trends that will shape South Africa and the world in the year ahead? Yeah, well, let's start with South Africa. We stay with the call. There's going to be nothing on structural reform. It's all smoke and mirrors. And on governance questions, rooting out corruption, there's going to be nothing to deal with the institutionalized problem around the government and the African National Congress. Rather, there will be media stunts, uh, perhaps the pursuit of an ace Makashula, something of that nature. It could capture the public's attention. It could make people believe something is being done. But Ace Makashula and his prosecution, while important, doesn't do anything to change the institutional problem of corruption, more than, for example, was the case of rooting out uh, Mr. Zuma. Uh, Ace Makashula, we think, is sort of becoming the Jacob Zuma of the ANC, and he's going to be used from a media and strategic uh, perspective to, to blunt criticism that the ANC is not doing enough on corruption. As a consequence, South Africa geared to underperform. Uh, emerging market peers on a complete uh, cross-section of indicators, exacerbated by the slow uh, uh, vaccine take-up in the country, and a process that if the state insists on driving it, as is currently the case, is probably going to become more chaotic as the year continues. So for South Africa, we're down. On the currency in South Africa, we think it's had its little run. It's, it's geared for very sharp reversals through the medium term. We'll see a lot of that in evidence uh, through the course of this year. There's an election this year, local government poll. Uh, we've got recent polls of our own. We published them in the note. Uh, the raw data, mustn't be confused with an election forecast, puts the ANC at just below 50% uh, now. We think that's going to be kind of on the money for what it's going to get uh, nationally, if you average uh, for this local government election and the EFF and the DA neck and neck and the implications of that, uh, are something we're going to explore in great detail for our clients through the course of this year. Looking at the rest of the world, we're pretty happy. 
the con is in the short term and into the medium term, perhaps the confluence of the vaccine shot in the arm for people and and uh, stimulus shots in the arm for uh, global economies means that the 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 outlook uh, short term globally economic outlook pretty solid. We've gone through the regions as we do in the note uh, that we published this Monday morning uh, across from the US through Europe post Brexit, the Middle East and emerging markets. And uh, we, in our short-term analysis, pretty upbeat. In the longer term, however, and this is a big CRA call, we remain concerned about what the costs of stimulus efforts are going to be. And we continue to cling to the view that in the fullness of time, the world and markets will have to regurgitate the entire quantum of stimulus injected into, into the global economy over the past 20 years. And that means a pretty, a pretty dramatic global crash. It is the strategic call to get right uh, for the for the net for the in, into the out of the medium term and into longer term for the world. If you time that crash, uh, that will be perhaps the the most significant strategic decision you'll make as an investor, as a family, as a business leader. We're going to try and help our clients do exactly that. David, back to you. Thanks very much, Franz. We've linked to a copy of this week's risk alert in the description below. That's a once-off, usually available only to CRA clients. Please do remember to like this video and also comment below what do you think are going to be the major risk factors in the year ahead. My name is David Ansara. Until next time, take care.